Hello and welcome back to some more Space Engineers. And, uh, I was productive since the last time you've seen me, as we've ex expanded out the base a little bit. This was my original plan. This is where we're going to have sort of like a, a little garage for some kind of rover. And begun construction on Solar Tower number three. Which I think is all the power that this base will need eventually. But uh, that's still being in production. I don't have everything ready for that yet. We take a look at the assembler. Oh my god, all my assembly is done. Well, that happened way faster than I expected. So, I'll probably weld that up and do some other stuff. But, we've got the floor all welded. Nice. Hmm... Mmm, armor plating. It's all put together. And the sun is just about to crest over the hill. Oh, beautiful. As our panels are aligned and ready to kick ass. And I know, this is so annoying. One panel has it on the front. One panel has it on the back. And it's the same for this one. And it's all the same for this one, too! Ah! Oh! Oh my god. One of these days, I have to do something about that. I think I need to, like, grind down the ones on, like, this side, and then, like, flip them around and put them back on. But we'll do that in the future. That's an off-camera kind of thing. But, today's plans is that we're going to work on the base a bit. As I have a cool plan for... A doorway and this is why I've left a gap here so what I want to do is I want to get some is it blast doors oh it's it's hangers doors that's it hanger airtight hanger doors all right let's go grab everything we need to make uh, oh wow those things take a lot of storage we can only carry what we need to make like a couple of them but what these things are is you see it's an it's actually a long pretty long block you can see that, that that green outline extends upwards a bit. What these things can do, and we'll place it there. We're going to make sure it's lined up nice and flat. Not this way where it's like forward and back. This way it's side to side. We'll place that there and we'll weld this thing up. Because what we can do with these is create a nice doorway. So we just need to go hop into our chair boop, and find our airtight door. And it's number 19 because I was playing with these off camera. So I had placed a whole bunch of them and such. And what we can do is we can hit close. We can see it right here on the far right side. We hit close and we can watch it come up. Isn't that cool? And so you could have this door that moves into position and locks away then if we go back and uh, go back into our airtight door and open it again it will retract back into position so what we're going to do is we're going to place these all along here and when we do that, we can drive across them fairly well. So we can drive into the base. And when we get in, we'll have a little panels here on either side where we can control the doors. What we're also going to do is we're going to go up with the walls. Since these are... If we pop this one out for a second they go two higher than where they are so they take up two blocks what we want is another two and then another one and flip this over place it there and weld it up and we might as well get our button panel uh, made and 
set up right now anyway. So let's grab everything we need for a button panel. Ooh, I should have grabbed everything I need for two because we're going to put one on the inside and one on the outside. We'll I'll just place this one here for now. We can go into here and set up that button to be a group. Uh, let me just quickly place all of the doors we're gonna need eventually. So we can group them all. And, yep, that's all of them. They're kind of just precariously hanging there, but we'll make that stronger in the future. And we'll go airtight. Whole bunch of incompletes, but that's okay. We'll go to hangar door, save, and now what we can do is we can set up this button here to be a group, hangar doors, open close toggle. Now when I press this button, boop, both the top and the bottom are coming together. Oh, look at that. Look at that. And it makes a nice solid door for us. And that is strange. I am hearing my uh, the sound effect of production in the background, which it should be incorrect. Uh, that's just a, uh, a bug that I will uh, reload to get rid of. Ah, excellent. Loading back in. Bug isn't there anymore. And are these built? The hell? Wait, 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 what? Wait, 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 wait. Let me press the button here. What? No, I. This, this is so weird. I literally just loaded back in. How are these built? Okay, because I was going to edit out probably the load sequence, but what? Okay, this makes no sense. I'm going to try this again. Let's place another one on here. It's unbuilt. Let's exit, save, and I'm not editing this out. Load the survival, and it's loading, and this will take just a moment. That is so weird. Because I was going to weld them all up, but why are they all built? I didn't weld them. They, they seemingly built during the save. And look at it. It just welded. Look at that. I have no idea why that's occurring. Okay, that's obviously a bug of some glorious thing. And that's potentially a, a, an exploit because I could um, like grind down the materials repeatedly and stuff like that. So I have no idea why that's occurring. But, uh, okay. Huh. So I gotta get these two because they're off kilter from those. I gotta get them set up. So let's go to airtight door, uh, d d d closed, and we just gotta find the other one that is open, close it. Okay, so now the door is built magically, very magically, and that'll probably be like the, the title of this episode is like magical doors. And, uh, queued production. I don't want a queued production. I want to withdraw 10 to build things. All right, good. We need to build blocks around this to give it a little bit more structural integrity. And get these all welded up. Oh, why am I doing this by hand? I've got the welder ship, which I should be using more and more because it is amazing. And it makes life so much easier. And get into this, get into the inventory. It's local 
cargo container. Oh, already has a bunch of steel plates. Well, let's grab some more, just because I have a bunch. And detach. And head on off to go and weld these bad boys up. So something I have to do, because I'm very bad at this, is make this base pretty. As normally my bases are just blocks of like iron, just squares with a bunch of utilities in them, which never looks good. So I must somehow make this base pretty. I am probably going to have to experiment a whole bunch off camera in order to uh, make this base pretty. Because it's not something I am used to. Ugh, don't hurt things. Let's back off. Let's go park this thing again. Now that's all welded up. But we're definitely just going to leave that uh, sort of... <laughs> Or just there for now. Uh, park that. Da, 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 da. There we go. And lock. Excellent. So now, when we want to go outside, we just have to jump out, press our little button, door will automatically open up for us. Oh, I need interior plates. Why do I not have the plates? Mm -hmm. ah, there we go. Now set this one up with the same thing, same button, hang our doors, open closed. So we go outside, we drive our vehicle out, And then we can just get out of our vehicle, run back over here, toggle the hangar doors, and go tear off and do something if we wanted to. And then as we're getting back, park up, open our hangar doors, and oh, beautiful, we can just drive right in. Yes! <laughs> Alright. So, eventually, we're going to have to build the shell to the base. But I think the next thing is to get a parking spot for any future vehicles I want to build. Because... Oh, God. Park. And, uh... Eh, I'll turn you off. Save your battery. What we need here is enough space... To attach that vehicle and I want to make this sort of adaptive so that I can um, park any size of vehicle in here anything that would fit through this opening I want to be able to park here with a adjustable connector so right now the connector is at this height and I can adjust my uh, uh, my suspension to do like a tiny bit of adjustment but I want it to be a little bit easier and I think this is going to be what halfway down like that I think that's how I want it I think that's yeah five blocks and then one two three one two three in and we're gonna have a doorway somewhere but this is the center. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go up a few blocks. We already know that the roof is gonna be at this height. So we can bring this across and meet up with it. So that's sort of like the, the structure of how big that room is gonna be. Next thing we want is a piston and a connector because on a piston you do have the uh, the connector bits on it 
which are great. Uh, although, is it, it isn't like advanced pistons, right? Ah, it's just advanced rotors. If I'm not mistaken, how can we get this to fix? Because what I want this to do is just like those things that extend out, you can see that part of this has no block there, but has green space. That's where the piston can extend down to. So what I want to do, I don't know if this will be able to transfer materials. I haven't ex tested this enough, but we're going to attach it there. Do I want a conveyor there then? Oh, I'm going to have to experiment with this in the future. But essentially what's going to happen is the piston is going to be placed here. And let's get that thing welded up. And a conveyor, both conveyor, I think probably a curved tube and a connector, grab all the parts for those, are going to be placed on it. So that's going to be there, and then the curve and the connector will be placed there. And what's going to happen is when we activate the piston, the piston is going to be able to push forward. It's piston head not a part of this? Ugh. I hate when for the um, piston part is its own separate thing from piston so I need to go get some more stuff for that which is like large steel tubes and such get some more iron more steel tubes there we go the easy inventory doesn't uh, account for things that are multiple parts like that which is annoying but oh well we can get around it set up. Now, if we take this thing, we activate the piston, we can set our maximum distance. Let's not have it at 10 meters because that is a little far right now. Let's just have it at a meter. Its current is one. We can give it a tiny little bit of velocity and we can see that the piston has moved out and moved downwards. So let's take our little car and start it up and back it up. Ooh, unknown signal. We might have to run out to get that as soon as we get this parked. And we want to position it such that. That is centered, right? Yeah, that is. It's just me that's off centered. Position such that we are. just ready for that to come down right there excellent now we just need to go in and say okay so that's one meter so it's probably going to be say three and a half meters down something like so so we can take this maximum distance to say that three and a half meters and it is extending out so maybe four Mm -hmm. Ooh, it's so close. Now we can just back up. It is ready to connect, although eh, I don't like how close that is, like how, how far away that is. I can probably take it down another, like, say, 4.2 meters. That'll work perfectly. Oh, yeah, look how great that is. Maybe even just 4.1 meters. I'll have to... Uh, reverse it for a second and then reverse it back in order to get it to line up oh it's perfect it's absolutely perfect so now we can put on this guy's thing his connector switch lock and his battery recharge on off just like the ships do we can lock them up and set them to recharge and now 
With this, we can adjust this height depending on how we need it. So we can have a recharge port and possibly, it, it, it looks like this is green here. This is all green going connecting into the, the, the piston part. So if we set this up, I may need to rebuild this real quick unless I can get it to uh, hold its position there with this stuff on the side. Uh, I'll just test that real quick. Let's pop this off. Is that still part of the base? Uh, yes, it is. Okay, good. We can place a conveyor junction up there and run our cabling out of there. Oh, I'll pick that up in a second. Back to our other parts of our base and have it so that whoever comes and parks in here you can adjust the height with a little control panel and then back your whatever to it and we can have it all the way up at the top and even if we want to we can sort of now haul this little car out of position we can set this to reverse and we can go and we could park our cars like this <laughs> oh, wouldn't that be fun? I've got my car parked up against the ceiling. It's just like how I have my bike parked, where I've just got a couple bike hooks uh, up on the ceiling of the garage where it is, and it's just hanging off the ceiling. So we could theoretically set up a group, like a, an entire hangar, with all of these, <laughs> all of these pistons set up to go and park our various vehicles up in the ceiling. <laughs> Oh, that's so fun! Ah, uh, all right. This is this is this is fun for me. Uh, okay, let's get this. Uh, let's get this stuff all welded up here. All these iron blocks, which we happen to have the welder ship ready to kick ass, as that's what it's for. Nice and gentle here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Look at that welding. It's so good. And let's see. Unknown signal is in 10 minutes. So we should grab the... I think the miner is a, a little faster of a ship. So we'll use it to fly out there. I do have this scout car... But something I should really build is a scout plane. I do have the mod that uh, adds aerodynamics and such to the game so that you can build actual planes and not just um, like these atmospheric ships that rely on thrusters pointing in every direction. You can build stuff that relies on the aspect of lift. And I'm just going to pop out here, and I think my doorway will be right there. Or do I want to enter on that side? Ah, whatever. I'm going to just weld this all up for now, because we will adjust it in the future after I do some interior decorating off camera. We got nine minutes. Probably too little amount of time for me to build that scout plane. Although, it is conceivable that I could just turn my little scout car into a scout plane. And then I wouldn't have to uh, sort of rebuild something from scratch and have another uh, ship around and need another place to park it and such. Nice and locked in. Excellent. Alright. So that's in position. We do have a fair amount of leeway here in terms of the space in this garage where we could have some wings attached to this thing. So screw it. Let's make this thing into a plane. We're going to need a couple atmospheric thrusters. So we're going to fly over here. 
and let's grab, say, four atmospherics. Okay, let's drop everything we have. Four, five atmospherics. Then everything we need to make, say, few armor blocks. And all you need to do for this mod is have enough four momentum combined with enough flat space. Now there are some mods that add like actual wing blocks, but you can just build your own. So what we can do is we can just build out. And I don't even think I need to weld these up for now. I think I can just test it by uh, building them out and then just flying off. See how much we need here. So what is that? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, uh, 10, 11, 12, 13 long. Let's be symmetrical here. Uh, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Now I just need to build out to match that. As I build just random blocks on top. Excellent. And then just a couple thrusters pointing backwards. And that should be everything I need. We'll do a quick test and see if that actually works. And if it does, we'll fully weld up the wings. We'll unattach, we'll turn our blocks back off recharge, we'll drive out of the base, and now we can see we have not only the wheel thrust, but also the uh, thruster thrust. We do have a gyroscope on this, so we do have that. We don't have to worry about being super aerodynamic. Let us, let's save before this because I'm, I believe I might crash. We'll try to get some speed. And can we lift off? <laughs> hey, look at that. We have lift, although it is really jerky. I believe what I need to do, and it's only jerky when I'm giving it power. What I believe we need to do is let's, let's come in for a landing here and set up a block for our uh, thrusters now i'm going to put a script on here in the future uh, let's just put the wheels we just need to turn our wheels into a group and put that group on the bar and set it to on off so that we can turn our wheels off and just rely on the thruster thrust and that motion. Come on, give me that little bit of speed. There we go. And now we can just rely on our thrusters and it's much easier to control in the air with just the thrusters. Although, it, damn, this thing has a, a, a tendency to pitch up. But it is flyable. I might have to uh, build a, a proper plane here. But we managed to get out to the unknown signal fairly quickly, coming in for a nice soft landing. Park up, and let's get it. Uh, let's see. Push it over. There's my button. Special content. A prisoner suit. Give me the stuff out of there. A little bit more uranium. Where is your goodies give me that reactor yeah excellent that's all I really care about from these things get the reactor components and get the little bit of uranium turn this thing around and let's pick off again up into the air and there's a script that I have that's for um, maintaining a certain speed with thrusters. And it'll be super useful when we're flying around planes like this. Oh my god, come on. 
come on. Why are you pitching? This, this Okay, this is me not adjusting. This is what the plane wants to do. It just wants to pitch up for some reason. Probably because my wings are on the top of me? Maybe I need to put the wings on the uh, the bottom. Maybe that's what it'll do it. That'll make it work better for us. <laughs> it's, it's super finicky. Yeah, let's move the wings. Probably a good thing I didn't weld them all up then. And great that it's oh so flat right outside the base. We can come in for a nice gentle landing. Alright, let's park it up. And let's move these wings around. Oh, I don't want to do that. That's a good thing. Off. The accident. <laughs> ah. Stupid bunch of tiny little blocks. Okay. So we'll put the wings down here, maybe. Yeah, something like that. I wonder if I have mismatched wings like this, if the thing will start to, like, pitch in the middle of flight. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 this time. Alright, that is fine. Let's keep this one attached as we take it off, because that'll probably be a little bit easier. Uh, it's much easier to grind it down when they're attached. Alright, right down here. Is that where I put it? I don't know, one forward. And being a little bit more centered will probably be better as well. So that's one, two, three, four, five. What? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Excellent. All right. And uh, eh, let's throw in another couple atmospherics. Give it a bit more oomph. So I can take off without having to use my wheels. Also, let's grab a programmable block. And let's fly over here and grab everything we need for it. Uh, we don't need the big version of it, we just need the little version. And we can place that on this thing. Uh, right between the two thrusters is a perfectly fine location for it. And I completely forget what this code is called. Uh, it's not Izzy's stuff. Subgrids, artificial horizon, auto door, missile launch, speed matcher. I forget where it is. It's like an ascent um, script. I'll have to go find it again. It's a really good script. It just maintains a. Uh, a certain speed, which is nice. Speed matcher. Button salvo. All right, well, I'll get that in the future. We'll put that on there. But it essentially just makes your craft go at a certain given speed. But, ooh, we got lots of thrust now. Let's aim ourselves somewhere where there isn't any trees to run into, like this direction. And let's take off. Oh, it is still pitching up. So, th like, this is me not trying to correct and just pushing forward. 
and I'm flying just in a circle like this. Ugh. Damn, I gotta figure out why that's doing that. Otherwise, uh, aircraft won't really be possible if I don't figure out why it's pitching. It's not as bad as before. It kind of is. Maybe I need to put the thrust not on top for some reason? Maybe I put the thrust in line with the, uh, like the flight service? So let's take away the, the top at nose and just have those ones. Yeah, a little longer to take off now because I don't have the all the thrusters. Uh, no, it's still pulling up. Ugh. Maybe it's just the fact that I have those um, spotlights and stuff on the top, adding extra drag that's causing it to pull. I might have to design a completely new, like, actual... <laughs> an actual airplane and not just sort of retrofit a rover with some airplane parts. <laughs> that might actually be useful. But it just shows what is possible as we clear those up. Although I think I might keep the thrusters on here just on a, um, a group that I can turn off because if you ever need to and you're trying to like get up a, a steep hill in a rover and you don't you just you just don't have that ability with your uh, uh, with your wheels. Let's, let's go give this a go. Uh, thrusters. We'll put them on a group as well. Toggle block on off. Turn them off for normal driving around. But let's go get ourselves into a position where we can't drive up the hill because it is too steep. And then we'll use our thrusters to get us up. Or at least assist us with getting up the hill. All right, so like here's a nice and steep hill. If we turn around and we're gonna try to drive up this and we can just oh, barely do it with our wheels. Like just barely climb it up. So if we turn on our thrusters, we can park there. With our wheels, we can't. Eh, isn't that cool? And if we put on our thrusters, we can just fly up the hill because we've got so much extra power. So sometimes, you're making a little scout craft, it's actually good to have a pair of thrusters on them. Okay, so here is a perfect example. We can just, oh, ever so barely get our wheels on here and we're not making progress. We're not able to get up this hill with just our wheels. We turn on our thrusters, boom, we're up. Just like that, because we got the thrusters to boost us up. Although you have to be careful, because thrusters can get you going way faster than your wheels will ever allow you to. And also, if you're crazy, hopefully I don't kill myself. Oh! <laughs> You can actually get airborne and fly like a missile if you have enough thrust. Because the aerodynamics in this game, is, at least with the mod that I added, is dumb. And it doesn't, it doesn't really need wings. It just needs enough thrust. So, uh, you can do stupid things like that. With just, with just a little bit of thrusters added to your craft. So those... Those are going to stay there forever, <laughs> those little thrusters, because it's going to allow me to do some stupid th stuff, like just take off. <laughs> oh, God. It's like when you see the Formula One cars driving along and then like they just catch the air and start like flying because, you know, they're supposed to be so aerodynamic and they just catch the air wrong and then they just pick up and flip or whatever happens in those races yeah just like that but it also helps when you just need to get down to the water and you don't want to uh you know 
drive down, you can just sort of <laughs> fly down. <laughs> oh my god, this is abusing physics in so many ways. And we're on the water. Well, ice in this sense. And then we can go and set a land speed record. We got 50 meters a second. Oh, and then we just pick off. <laughs> All right. Well, maybe that's enough of me screwing around. Let's head back to base. Okay. Let's, let's, let's use our our new garage properly. We'll back up. What I should do is I should paint these differently. Uh, I totally forget what it is. Paint P. Okay. Let's get, maybe get yellow. And I think it's middle click. Oh, yeah, that's it. Middle click does one block. So I'm going to paint the middle middle of the ship here. Well, not the ship. The, uh, the parking garage. So that when I'm driving backwards, or even in first person, I can align myself to that. And I know that I'm in the center of the garage as I'm backing up towards the connector. Oh. Ready to lock. Lock it up. Turn that on. And then just have my ship in place. But this is something I'm definitely going to have to do. Go through and properly color everything. Because I have not done any of that yet. And, it is, and it's showing. This is far too uh, just... You know, like gunmetal gray boringness in this area. Absolutely. Okay, so we. Okay, I want the roof. Oh, we want to go back to normal gray. The roof for the base is going to be, I think, in line with this like that oh god okay jetpack ran out of, ran out of jetpack juice both my things are run out uh oh, damn it okay where is my wait where is the Oh, this is the O2 generator, right? Yeah, this, yes. It doesn't have space. There we go. Now I got my hydrogen fuel backs. Okay. I need some iron. So that's going to come up to that. That's where the roof is going to be at that height. So then it's going to be one higher than this area so that's going to allow me to run tubules we got come theirs we just need some interior plates so let's just grab a stack of those Ooh, right there i can run tubules from there across And since that's connected there, I can move these two. And uh, do, 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 do. that is a thruster. Get rid of that and get the conveyor back on. Get a turny bit. Right into here. Oh, and the unfortunate part is that connector is not going to hold there. I'm going to have to... Uh, Cause this ship to hover for a moment. Because when I take this out. Wait, is the connector holding? Oh, the ship's probably holding it up. I'm gonna have to take this connector out. 
put a conveyor junction there and then put a connector back on. What? Did take away all my steel plates that I had? Or are the, probably just the ship's in the way. That's probably what's going on. Ship, out of the way. Thank you. Yeah, slap a connector down here. Come on, Weldon. And then we can park the ship back there. Although we have to be more careful with this now. Excellent. Lock it up. And we have the ability to transfer stuff not only from our rovers once I get that entire passageway there welded. So, and I don't even need a second uh, filter. So this um, this conveyor sorter that's pulling everything out is not only pulling everything from the the mining landing spot on the roof, but it's also pulling everything from this access over here, which is awesome. So I don't need to worry about setting up another uh, conveyor sorter. <laughs> but considering the amount of time I've been recording and the fact that the sun is going down, that is probably an episode. We didn't get, I don't, I don't know if we got much done. We kind of just dicked around, which is also fun. We got the, uh, well, we got this magically created somehow due to uh, save and reload bugs. We figured out that the uh, ship, our little rover here can fly even though it doesn't have wings. We got a little bit more of the base planned out and built up. And we've got a third uh, solar tower starting to be created. My only concern about these solar towers is if I build the walls up, and I should probably just test this by building the wall up right here, is the solar tower going to hit the wall as it turns? I don't know if I built them far enough away. And I'm kind of holding off on building that third one until I know whether or not this works. So if I, you know, just bring this out to where it would be for height purposes. God, I'm, I'm causing all sorts of things to fall. So like the wall would be somewhat around there. And that actually gives us some, um, uh, and that's a conveyor junction, large cargo container. Uh, does that give us another spot? Yeah, we could theoretically get another three cargo containers in here because we have enough room to put them on top of each other or um, in the future, uh, large reactors and stuff. Or we could take the roof and sort of uh, do it on an angle like this, which would look kind of cool, give the base sort of some asymmetry. We'll figure that out in the future. But I want to make sure that when this thing rotates around, tracking the sun, it doesn't hit this wall. Because if it does, it means I'm going to have to move these things another few blocks out and rebuild them. Oh, and that'll be an annoying thing to do. But we have some parts of the base planned. We've done some more things, and we've maybe been productive. Uh, next time, I think we should fully shell the base out, install the lighting, and color it. We should go full-on Martha Stewart and just make it beautiful. But that is going to be it for this week's Space Engineers. Thanks for watching. And good hunting.